What is up guys, it is Matty and welcome to another episode covering our Clan Wars. So this, we've, well, 16 hours away from a, another war and I'm a couple behind, I need to catch up because I need to cover the toad, I can't even pronounce that, uh, but we're on the 52 to 27 war um, and we'll see how it goes, how we went and yeah, I mean overall the war was pretty good, um, they didn't really challenge us too hard at all. They failed a lot. I see a lot of one stars, barely any three stars from them. Uh, Lou got three starred by the look of it. Um, but yeah, it was it was pretty straightforward. We didn't do too well on the town hall tens, but the town hall nines, pretty much most of them got destroyed, which is good to see. So yeah, there's a few videos I'm gonna go through, and we'll start with number seventeen, and we are in with N Dog. And let's see what he had to offer. Got my wife dying in the background over there. Um, yeah, let's see what we're saying. It's a hog attack. And I've paused it. Oops. So, yeah. Firstly, it's using the giant to lure the CC. Pretty straightforward. If, you, if the CC is easily placed, giants are a very good troop to get to get the pull. Um, I like the way you use the hog to cook to uh, sort of get the skelly trap and finish the CC pull as well. That was very nice and yeah now the the only thing is with this taking a cc side on is quite quite risky um because the troops could come around and kill the witches especially if they move into a danger zone but it actually worked out okay um i normally don't try to avoid it but he, he did a, a good job now queen was easy to take down you see they got the golem and the kill squad all going in funneled in nicely as well and I think it's going to trip some potential giant bombs which are next to the cannons. There's a single there. I don't know where all the giant bombs are on, the, but it doesn't look like there's any any uh, doubles. You can see another one was tripped as well. So the hogs are going in, sort of covering the kill squad as well. And yeah, um, they're, go, they're going around. They've split up, which is kind of annoying. So he's got to be careful with the heal spell placement. Another heal spell at the top. He's waiting a bit long to place it. Um, I think he was just trying to wait as long as he could, but quite a few hogs probably died then. And yeah, coming up to the sort of latter half of the raid, um, a lot of his hogs are in good health. The wizard tower was doing a bit of damage, but there's only a few defences left. The problem is, one of the Teslas survived over here. Um, meaning that the hogs are going to have to swing all the way back around to go and get it. There might be a giant bomb over there as well, I think. Yeah, there it is. Look, splat. That did a quite a lot of damage. But looking at the rest of the base, the kill squad and all the other troops are just taking it down, which is great. So once that last dead, that last defence went down and the um, and the skeletons, the hogs and the rest of the troops were cle free to clear the rest of the base, and it was pretty straightforward. So yeah that when you've got a poor base design the queen's accessible cc is easily lawable it just makes the job a lot easier um to be honest so that's just down to to, to poor base builds oh sorry about that guys my last video kind of cut um or signal dropped even though i had full wi-fi which is kind of odd um next attack, attack i'm going to show is actually a um a, a holo as you can see or uh, a swarm, well yeah I think it's a swarm holo so how's he going to do this? I remember he takes down a lot of the cannons and the mortars and the mortar this side well mortars because there's two because the air defense don't really cover it at all um, I think he might get some other defenses around and then he's going to use hogs for the rest of the base so if I'm going to click play now and just start going through you see he's sprinkling the hog and um, the loons to try and get as many of those defences as he can. I don't know if he's... I think he's saving... Saving a few loons for the back end as well. Oh no, there we go. He's got another five going at the top side. Which are going to eliminate another double giant bomb threat. Um, he's got this, he managed to get the CC pulled as well. Which is great. Look, I don't know why my Wi-Fi is still having issues. Um... But he's pulled the CC down the bottom. It looks like he's going to kill squad actually through another double giant bomb location potential, which means he's eliminated three giant bomb locations. And uh, it looks like he tripped on it there as well with a hog as well. So even better. Now, I don't think he got the full CC pull. 
So what he's done is he, he's going going in the attack anyway. Ho and I think the golem. It, yeah, unfortunately, the the jump spell that he placed didn't quite get him where he wanted. So it's a little bit of a misplace there. But it looks like the 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 troops are powered through anyway. And I think the giant bombs are going to be tripped by the golem, maybe. Ah, no, they weren't. They weren't even here. So he might have covered off the giant bomb locations anyway. And now you can see the main hogs have gone in. Unfortunately, they got hit straight away by a spring trap. But the main group have gone into the core. And in a minute, they're going to be joined by the rest of the hogs as well. So you can see the heal spell placement, keeping the troops alive. Um, last heal spell, he's going to need to get a good spread on it. I'm assuming he's going to do it by the uh, top top right uh, wizard tower. By the giant bomb, keeping a load of the hogs healthy uh, while the others go through and they're moving on to the last defense now so it, it almost felt like there were less defenses on this raid um, but the the troops went down quick the king's about to go down as well all the hogs are on him which was nice kill squad are in the core and I don't know if he had much of any cleanup he's got a, a single goblin down there so there wasn't many cleanup troops so it was pretty hog heavy meaning that the hogs were going to have to do the cleanup as well so luckily, lucky he was able to keep a load alive, and the cleanup wasn't too bad at all. Just going to speed through it now because we all know what's going to happen. Looks like the hogs circling around the base did the main cleanup, and there we go. Nice, nice three star. I think the next one I'm going to show was number eight. There we go. But I'm yeah, yeah number. Eight and number six, I think, were the two. So let's look at um, the raid that Bratus did. Got us a nice three star. Here we go. Now, this base, let's have a look at what's going on. So it's dropped a few minions down here um, and up there to. The, what they're going to do is help funnel. So they're taking down the uh, the outside buildings, just making it so that his queen goes in. Now this was a bit risky, and you'll see what I mean. So he's clearly using the queen to take down the air defence. So because it's quite a low queen, it's getting hammered quite quickly. And look at how close this actually is, <laughs> um, before it gets before she gets distracted and then dead. So it's a pretty close one on the queen. Anyway, he's then sent four hands in the top, spammed in the loons behind. So no main structures kept a couple of loons for the back end dropping double heels down uh, double raid down as well lightning down to help down, take down the cc um i don't know what troops are going to i don't think there's going to be many troops left to take down the queen um so it's going to be potentially loon drop or potentially the queen's going to stay alive until his heroes go in this might kill no it hasn't okay so the queen is very much alive actually look um, the pups are doing some good damage on her, but the sheer amount of defense is, um, sheer amount of loons left. They're doing a good job, and the pups have finally gone in and killed the queen off. So now that the ma the last main threat's gone, being the queen, um, it's going to be down to clean up, and that that big group of loons hopefully are going to be able to withstand the arch towers, which obviously clearly they they're going to because he gets the three star, and then it's straight in. These sort of raids I find quite risky because you're not taking care of the queen. You're relying down to luck. If these arch towers would have killed the loons, you could have been left with a potential one star. Um, just a little bit risky for my liking. Look how much of one loon he's got left. Um, and then pups have been able to clean up. So, it yeah. <laughs> Quad la loon deployed like that. Um, I wouldn't say that was the best sort of deployment, and I wouldn't uh, recommend deploying it like that either. So, uh, but... Well done to Bratz for being able to bring home a nice three star for the clan, as we all appreciate. I think the next one I'm going to show, one of these bases is a general, so I'll scout it first. I think it was number seven. Number seven was the general, so we'll have a quick scout and make sure, because I showed that the, the general last video, and it was a Laloon anyway, but I don't really think it's worth showing this time. Here we go. Sorry, this is the last video that we're gonna. Sh Sorry, not the last one. The uh, the next video we're gonna show, and it, again, it's a hog attack, which is nice. I've, it's quite a hog heavy uh, in, uh, war this time, which is great. Um, 
Well, actually, I think it was half half Laloon, but I'm using some other videos for something else, so I've uh, kept it quite hog heavy. Now you can see how I used the hogs on the top defense there to get the uh, to get the CC pull and take down the defense, which was great. And he's using the kill squad on the right, which is the normal sort of method, which is also seems to be working well. Kill squad have taken down the. Um, are pretty much gone now. Loons just died, and the unfortunately Faison hadn't done any funneling at all. Um, which was just generally um, kind of <laughs> negligent, but King's circling around the outside, which is never good. Already sending in all the hogs on, on the left-hand side, so the hogs are going in and doing their thing. That was sort of an iffy heal spell, um, the one towards the bottom there. So I think he's going to have to make up for it on the next couple. But because he's turn or turn, he's got an, he's got extra heal spells knocking around anyway. He used one in the core, you can see, and he's probably going to use the last. Oh, that's a bit of a dodgy last heal spell as well. Yeah, heal spells were pretty but poor. Um, but I just think it's a because he's got more hogs and extra spell um, and that sort of thing. It's it, it's just a, a relatively easier base so hogs and they've taken down all the defenses now killing the skeletons the queen needs to go down the queen's just locked onto the king sorry and uh and yeah that's it all the threats are now gone and it's just clean up king has done a literal circle around the entire base <laughs> which is which has kind of actually helped him out in the end but it's not the way you want it to go at all um and now Hog's taking out the town hall, and they're going to be able to run through and clean up the rest of the buildings. So again, once you follow the steps, you get the CC kill, you get the queen kill, um, eliminate double giant bomb threats if there are any. It's Hogging isn't as hard as you think it is, but it does require some skill. So the last raid I'm going to show in this war is by Bao. Ah, it is the general. <laughs> But it's a Laloon. I've completely screwed screwed up this video. But hey, hey I'm gonna I'm not gonna make any changes. You're gonna get it raw <laughs> as, as normal. I like the way he was able to trigger a giant bomb. Then that was awesome. So it's already taken down one of the double giant bomb threats. Um, I think that's the only threat as well. But, uh, no, there might be another one on the left hand side. Let's see what he does. So. He's getting the, trying to get the CC pull. Now look here, he's getting he's got the CC. In fact, he didn't even need to set down giant bombs. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm pretending like it's a hog raid. It's probably because I've seen so many hogs hog videos this episode. So you can see what he's done. He's thrown down the king, the queen, um, a golem. Not, the funneling is happening there. Um, is there any north side funneling? I don't think it's needed just because of the way the buildings are placed. Um, that armor camp acted, acted as a natural funnel break anyway, but he did use the wizard at the top to, to help out. King and Queen are going in. So this is what I like to call the precision Laloon. So what he's done is he's got the CC pull and he's killing the enemy queen and he's killing an air defense as well. And he's going to get an expo by the look of it because his heroes are high, quite high level. So he's uh, he might even get two air defenses here. Uh, but he's got three, lo uh, 16 loons and three hounds left, which are the main sort of attack squad. So we'll watch how he delivers it. But let's see how this bit pans out here, because I think it's going to be good. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, just in case he starts dropping the hounds already. Um, but you can see the queen's down. You can see, Ah, here we go. Look, I have managed to catch it. So air defense uh, one is looks like it's about to go down. Um... Expo's already down as well, maybe even get a Tesla down. And he's dropped a hound at the top side and a couple of loons behind it. He's dropped another couple of loons up here and there we go. Air Defense 1 is down as well, just to keep you updated. And you can see how he's just moving systematically around the base. The other Air Defense is about to get locked on by the Queen, I think after she's taken the Tesla down. Double hounds up here. To, to, to swoop in down to that, that air defence which will then follow down to the rest of them. so now all he needs to focus on is loon placement and he's going to just tr slowly trickle them down you can see the queen's taking down the tesla queen's now taking down the air defence boom there it goes there's the, the two hounds there's the loons coming around as well he's probably going to take drop a, that last loon on the arch tower down the bottom side maybe I'm not 100% sure but that queen has really got her done her work this raid. Um, 
you can see the last hound's taking a bit of a beating but we want it to pop anyway just at the right sort of time hopefully it's going to go down in a second i don't think it is going to though um there you go the last hound killed as well so look how many pups are left this this is like a laloon masterclass this is if you're going to do it if you're going to do a laloon do it like that that's the way that's that is the way last loon going on the camp as well to as clean it um so brilliant in fact i should have used that um that that raid um in in my learning laloon series but hey ho at least it's been posted up on youtube so that's what i'm here to do show you show you as good a stuff as i can um to help improve you guys um and just yeah try and delve you deeper into the game the world of hot um sort of three starring really because that's what wins clan wars that's why our log is green and uh, you can see oh yeah we hit our 50th win as well um which is great you look at that uh 50 wins which is great i said that a few times now it's uh yeah we we i see a lot of clans with 100 wins and that but we formed a bit later than than most so we, we, we i would say we've won what 90 five percent of our clan wars and um, we've get, we're getting even better now and getting even stronger the current lineup on this war is pretty strong as well and the enemies are absolutely useless so this is going to be another obliteration i think we might be trying to go for full house again and try and get the full 60 stars this war so we'll we'll, we'll see how that one comes in a couple of wars time but other than that hope you enjoyed this episode and i'll see you on the next one